It's bourbon night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. It's day eight of the LBS advent calendar. And on day eight, we had... We have Old Forester 1870. Mm. Old Forester 1870, the first in the Whiskey Row series, which is now complete. That is correct. With four, 1870, 1897, 1920, and then they went back in time to 1910. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They're all back in time, but yeah. it's all good. Um, so I don't know, fun fact about this, mm -hmm. uh, 1870 was the year that George Garvin Brown started uh, batching whiskey from three different distilleries. So um, he was bringing it together and blending it and stuff. So uh, if you know about Old Forester, you know the birthday bourbon is in his honor as well. Mm -hmm. So this is also calling back to his um, it's hearken contribution. Hearkening back to. That's right. So this is 90 proof, 72% uh, corn, 18% rye, 10% malted barley. Gotcha. Runs about 45 or 50 bucks a bottle, depending on where you get it. I definitely get the corn coming through on the nose. Yeah, for so sure. So sweet. Mm -hmm. Old Forester products in general have always just kind of stood out to me. Yeah. And then learned that they have a much shorter charring time on their barrels. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if that's... I do think that that has something to do with it. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of got some fresh fruit in the nose. Yeah, it does. Not quite I get a little banana. banana. Yeah, but it's more like uh, a fruit salad. Yeah, Like yeah. a variety of a fruit in a there. A medley, if you will. A medley, I will. <laughs> All right. All right. It's easy. Very easy. Nice little sting at the fruit end. fruit salad-like. Like with, you ever had like a marshmallow fruit salad that yeah. a pollock or something? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. Uh-huh. Sweet and fruity and... Very easy on the palate. And then mm -hmm. the finish starts kind of creeping up with this heat, which is surprising for just the 90 proof. Um, and it's gone. So pretty short finish. But during those, you know, five to seven seconds, it did kind of have this little burst of heat across the tongue. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you do get a little bit of the barrel in there too in the finish. It's so but, faint though. Yeah, it's pretty faint. I mean, I could definitely sip on this for a while. I don't dislike it at all. I think it's just more middle of the pack for me. It's, you yeah. know, it's not jumping out at me as, again, something I'm gonna reach for. Exactly. I'm gonna come home and I'm like, ugh, I need a pour, it's been a long day. I'm not gonna pick it. I need that 1870. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, maybe some 1920, <laughs> you know. Sure, I mean, okay, if you came home and you were in a rare 90 proof mood, so this would be an option. Mm -hmm. Other 90 proofers out there, what what, what would I you pick? go for before you went for this? Oh, um, Buffalo Trace. Um, Eagle Rare. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, and there's so many things. It's fine, I like it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we're just at a point where we have so many options and it's like you have to do something to stand out for me to be like, I want that. Yeah, especially when you're twice as much as aforementioned like, Buffalo Trace. Right, you know, I feel like such a snob saying that, but you're right, I mean, it's twice as much. Yeah, I mean, we have kind of slid into that, like, we're the judges, and you're up there on stage, yeah. and if you're going to go into the finals, you've got to impress us, you've got to bring it. You've got to bring it. And Tell us I what just, you've made today. Yeah, <laughs> today I've made for you, um, and, you know, I feel like I would be more Simon Pegg than I would whoever else is on that show. Who's Simon Pegg? No, it's not Simon Pegg. Simon, Simon Pegg Cowell. is the actor who's brilliant. Uh, it's Toronto the Dead. Yeah, Simon Cowell. Yeah, <laughs> it's, be, it's a no for me. I would be, well, they're both British. <laughs> yeah, that's but, true. I could see how you I, could get them confused. It's a no for me. Yeah, you know, it's, it's fine, but do you want a bourbon that's just fine when you're popping down maybe 50 bucks? I'd rather have rare breed. Oh, yeah. His reaction, oh. Or oh. I'd rather spend a couple extra dollars and get the 1920. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, again, it's divisive, but a lot of people would say they would want to spend the extra money just to get the 1910. Sure. We don't fall on that camp, but I've heard a lot of people say that. It's yeah. their new favorite, and yeah. which is great. Mm -hmm. And we'll have it on the... Where is it? 11th. That's right. Yeah, so in three days, we'll get to revisit that one. More Old Forester for yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, this one, it's, it's, it's passable, it's fine. It's perfectly fine, but not very memorable. Yeah, it's average. Yeah, it's a, it's a great sipper, but not really for the money. I think it would be a crowd pleaser at a party, though, because it's, 
even though it's got an 18% rye in the mash bill, it's uh, it's sweet, I feel like. Yeah. So I feel like that would probably, if you were getting some people, you know, into bourbon, mm -hmm. this would be something that's lower proof and more approachable for them. Yeah, agreed. So, Maybe that's why we're not all about it. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> there we go. Can't win them all. Nope. Um, all right, well, that will do it for us. What do we got coming up tomorrow, Sarah? Tomorrow we have something that we've never tried before. I like it. Still right straight bourbon whiskey. Still it's right. 90 proof as well. Never okay. even heard of it. That'll do it for us. Uh, if you like what we're bringing here and maybe you're new to us, uh, we would ask you to hit that subscribe button if you like it. If you don't, don't. <laughs> but uh, you can give us a thumbs up. If you're digging it, leave us a comment or a question down below. You can also visit our new home for our merch and glasses and other things coming soon, which is whiskeyambitions.com. Go visit that and, and see the options if you like. We appreciate it, it a lot. Yep. Um, Sarah's drinking, so I'll just go mm. on. Uh, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. That's where you can join in on the conversation and get little extras and, and so forth. Yep. Uh, you can find glassware, books, anything to complete your whiskey lifestyle on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbonite. Mm. And lastly, you can follow us on all of the social media channels at it's bourbonite. Well said. Thanks. Jim. All right. Well, we will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, drink more bourbon. What the heck is it? There. That wasn't so bad. Hmm. It's a tool chest with a blaster holder. How convenient. Because who doesn't need a blaster holder on their tool chest? I know I do.